All right, hello, hello, it's Jasmine Cooper, and I'm jumping back into my one -on one scoring streams. It's been a long time since I've done them, primarily because I've been having, ooh, sorry for the yawn, but I've been having pretty horrible internet issues, and because of that, I've canceled, or, yeah, I've canceled any streaming uh, activities that I uh, had otherwise done. But I really enjoyed the series, and just because I can't stream it doesn't mean I can't do it. So I decided, you know what, I, I like the series, I want to keep it going, it was good practice for me anyway, and so, you know what, I'll just put out videos, and when I get back to uh, an area where I have really good internet connection, I'll go back to streaming. So that's what this is. So, with that out of the way, I want to jump in by first, I want to start this by talking about what prompted this particular streaming idea, and it was birthed by a man named Trevor Morris. Uh, he became, he's a composer that I think gained fame through his work for uh, the show, a show called The Tudors. Oh, I apologize. I just woke up, but Trevor Morris basically has a, a video series where he talks about um, things that you need to do about things that you need to do in order to be a TV composer. And one of these vlogs, vlogs, he actually answers questions prompt given to him from other uh, composers, and one mentions how difficult it is for him to write a lot of. If, how difficult it is for him to write music in a particular amount of time. This is Trevor Morris here. And Trevor Morris basically says that if you want to be in film or in TV or anything related to episodic uh, media, you're definitely going to have to be able to write a lot of music in a short amount of time. And the goal is a minute of music in an hour. And so this is where one-to-one -one scoring came from. I'm striving to create a minute of music in one hour. And that's what I do here. I work on trying to strengthen that skill and get more accustomed to working at that speed. And so what I do is I generate random parameters to kind of help speed up this process. So what I do is I have a, um, well, there are a couple of things that I do. Sometimes I have a genre wheel where I spin it, I pick a genre, and then I have to score a picture to that genre. And one thing that I've also done, which I've actually kind of missed and I want to continue doing, is use Reddit's writing prompt. And I, and I score to Reddit, Reddit's writing prompt. Um, and this is what we're going to do today. We're going to take the writing prompt approach. So what I do, I go to Reddit writing prompts. I click sort by new, and the first thing that pops up is what I score, and I try and come up with something as fitting as humanly possible in an hour. Uh, as you can see in the timer up in the top left, I don't really have an hour, I have 55 minutes, and as I start loading up my template, I'm actually going to start talking about, um, like, I'm going to start talking about how I allocate my time in order to ensure that I actually get a somewhat completed product in an hour. But anyway, let's go ahead and start this by clicking new. See what pops up. You are a hero, but everyone thinks you're the villain. This is because the villain looks like a hero acts like a hero in public, and frames their villainous actions on you. You look like a villain, but are actually the hero trying to protect people from the real villain. Ah, this one's really interesting. Okay. This one's comedic, too. All right. So, first things first. What I do in these prompts, uh, obviously these prompts are a little bit, are a lot harder if you get a project and you have time to kind of think about uh, what you, if you have time, ah, Lord, words. If you get a project 
obviously for, for many people, they'll have a time frame, maybe like a couple of days. This is, this is assuming that you have a really tight deadline, but you'll have a section of time where you can really talk to the developer or the director about the feel and the style of the music, that you can take notes and listen to references so that you have the the representation wanted for the scene already set and it's up to you to just use the tools that you researched to create something. Well, I, I only have an hour, so I don't have as much time to do that. And generally what I do is I give myself five minutes to do some research if I need to. But honestly, for this, I don't really think I need to do any research because initially off the top of my head, I'm thinking comedic. I'm thinking the superhero route. So I'm thinking DC Marvel. So epic orchestral, tons of horns, tons of brass. The uh, eighth note repetition strings uh, and like in their normal chord formation. My thing is I have to, in, I have to think of a way to depict both of them. So usually what I do is I give myself five minutes if I need to research or like listen to thematic material. I don't feel like I need to do that today, so I'm not gonna do that. Um, what I, right now, I'm trying to think about how I want to, I'm trying to think of what scene I want to write. And usually when I get a Reddit writing prompt, what goes on in my head is I start to think of a movie. And from this movie, I try and think of the scene that I want to score from this movie. And right now, I want to show kind of like this comedic representation of the villain doing villainous stuff. And then the hero trying to go, trying to go help. And people are like, hey, hey, what are you doing? Or like, get out of here, creep. Uh, it's, uh, basically, I want, to sh I want to show the juxtaposition to how people see the villain, which would be the hero epic epic music, and then how people see the villain. And I'm trying to figure out how I want to display the villain. Because initially, because uh, right now, what's, what, what's going on in my head, and I'm going to go ahead and start uh, loading the template. Well, right now what's in my head are like bright horns, uh, like not bright horns, but what, right now what's in my head are like horn sounds, trumpets and high strings. And then when I switch to the villain, I'm, I, I'm kind of pulling a blank here as to how I could comedically represent them. Anyway, I'm rambling. Usually after I find my prompt, I give myself a time limit. But the time limit is literally this timer. <laughs> so um, I don't have a time limit. But one thing I will say, I have 60 minutes to write this. But I have 50, I have 60, well, I have 50 minutes to complete this, but I don't really have 50 minutes. Um, I really have, um, well, I'll take that back. I do have 50 minutes. When I first started the stream, what I did was I wrote music for... 50 minutes, and then I used 10 minutes to mix and balance. And I decided, and there was one, I had one one-on-one -on -one scoring session where I stopped doing that and I mixed and I balanced as I uh, went along. And that was a much better system for me. Uh, that was the first thing that I, that was one of the things that I learned in doing this. Uh, mix as you go. Um, this has actually been helping me with an animation project that I have going on right now. The second thing that I learned was um, to create templates because templates expedite how quickly you can get things done. And so over the course of my one-to-one -one scoring, I have in fact been creating templates and I have an orchestral template already ready to go. I know this particular style of music is going to lend itself to the to an orchestral sound. And when I say orchestral, I just mean classical instruments primarily used in a style that's more associated with classical music heard in superhero films. And I think those are my two biggest takeaways from that is mix and balance 
the piece as you go and create templates. And also to have a select amount of time where you look for references and do research. But you have you, I have to basically allot myself that time. And when that time is over, I have to stop and then just go for it. And like I said before, generally that'd be five minutes for listening. And then uh, it's just, I, I just experiment with stuff along the way. Let's see, can you hear if it can? Perfect, you can. All right, so right now, oh, I already have something loaded in here. Let me delete this. Okay, I'm trying to think of anything else. No. All right, so I already, so okay, so I have my scene. I know it's gonna switch from superhero to uh, villain. I'm trying to figure out how I want to comedically do the villain, but you know what? Since I don't understand what that is, I'm just gonna go ahead and start working on the thing that I do have an idea for, which is the superhero thing. All right. Hopefully, I'm hopefully I'm not talking too fast. I have a tendency to do that. Set the tempo here. Let me make sure I don't have to delete any initialized controls. Do I? I don't. <laughs> you sound triumphant. I'm not good enough at chords to do them at the same time. Oi, okay, hold on, let me check. Slight Russian, but God, this one is really. Looks really bad, actually. Ooh, I don't know why my playing's off. I guess I'm still not awake yet. Two, three, four. A little bit of Russian, that kind of thing. Oh, 
I know it sounds a little mushy, but you know what? Well, that's the cleanup as I go, right? Throwing me off is, uh, I don't know what's throwing me off. I'm being weird today. I'm gonna be honest, I'm gonna be completely honest. If I were a good piano, and this is another thing I've spoken about as well, I'm not a good keyboard player. Uh, and so, for example, if I could actually play these chords outright, I would have done this one time, and I'd be moving on to something else. <laughs> so. This would have been better. You see how that sounds like a hot mess, though. Oh no. Another thing too is I I do this sometimes because I'm in a frenzy and I don't wanna lose data. I just say load in a template, which isn't really that good. Let me go ahead snow ah, Say that, darn it. Or I have to do this out again. Let me know. Let me score. This one is one. Twenty-four. I'll call this a uh, inversion. Okay. Oh, hurry up. Let me say thank you. I'm 
mess this up, but I'll fix it. Already. in here if I have it. I don't. No, that's alright. I'm going like my default big drums right now. Get your play. I need to invest in some bigger drums. I really had a need to invest in anything really. Or felt I needed to invest in anything. Although I should because East West is very very verb heavy. I'm not really I like my drums dry. Where are we at? What am I doing? Ah, oh, okay, I'm doing that. You, you're gonna hear that phrase a lot. What am I doing? Alright, some things I do have free in this tempo. Percussion, not necessarily. I wanna add in some. I'm gonna add in some some stuff again. Alright. Uh, do I have an issue with this again? Alright, check out my cellos snapping. Ah, cellos are high, okay. So I'm gonna get some cello action in here, yeah? Cellos, because of this. sharp, but I don't want you. Absolutely not. All right, I got 15 seconds. Mm -hmm. 
Tubin trombone no I change this. Another thing, make sure your templates are good and are ready to go. Mine is not. Because there are things that I was supposed to change that I haven't, and so I should just be experimenting with trombone right now, but I'm not. I'm having to load in a trombone patch. Alright. And you are twelve, yeah? <clears throat> Soft for me. Yeah, I'm doing the. Ah, oh, that's why. Let me change initialization controls here. No strings. Drag off. There we go. <laughs> I'll drop this, right? Oh! That's why. No, I already didn't sound the same. Wow. My viola stay quiet as F for some reason, I don't know why. That's why they're quiet. Ay! Please. <laughs> What is happening? I deleted this. Just do my bed name. No! God dang it. Okay, hold on. Let me fix this. Yellows are being. Oh! That's why they're being jerks. Okay. Now we let this. <laughs> Change it to uh, three, four.
have to give this to uh, Raph. Um, Yeah. Oh, okay, I forgot to go off. I do want two, but <laughs> two would be. I can also move one from this. So, uh, okay, screw that. I will say two. So far in this, um, my my uh, time for orchestral stuff was thirty seconds in a minute. So I know I have to at least hit thirty seconds, or I'm gonna be not happy with myself. Uh, let me get Adam sorted. Let's get percussion here to, to kind of bring this home. Mm. Mm. Alright, sorry. So, um, having buffer runs because I have my computer can't handle all this. So, I'm going to have to cut some of this down, yeah? For the final product, I'm definitely going to have to export some of the stuff to MP3 so you can hear everything I've done without the glitching effect. And I apologize for that. Uh, two, three, four. So we got mm. I might do it again and have it actually do with uh I think it's actually lagging because my computer is dying. Ah, maybe it's fine. Now. I don't know how Veal is. Veal's not what I want. Alright, here we go. Let's try percussion again. And I gotta move on to the, the villain. See if I can play every with every. Let me see if I can play all of the instruments without it lagging. I wonder if I can still hang up the whole thing.
You have to leave. Go away. Cellos, delete. Alright. Do my bidding. You are up here. <laughs> That's why they're actually here. Ah, I keep forgetting. Now we have to go to the the evil villain. Actually, it would be kind of cool to have like a evil villain theme that we actually associate with the with like the evil the theme that sounds like an evil villain is the actual hero. We have to remind myself, no, this isn't like when you hear the heroic theme, you have to remember, no, this isn't the hero. He's trash. <laughs> and then when you hear a uh, the villain theme, you gotta remember, no, this guy's good. Um, I like the idea of whoever was watching this fake film having to like remind themselves, no, 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 this guy is actually the good guy. He's not, he's not bad. He just looks like he's bad. Let me get a uh, symbol doohickey in here. Mm -hmm. Uh, oh, one time we kind of come up with something. Yeah, that sounds really lame. That sounds stupid. I don't like it. I have an idea in my head. I don't like it. Okay, so I'm, in my head, I'm imagining the superhero of the villain kind of flying by and people clapping for him. And then, I don't know, like, the, ah, here's, what I, here's what I have. I have the superhero, and he's, like, flying through the sky with, like, bags of money. And people think, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. The superhero is, like, flying through the sky. And let me take this back. The villain... Who's, who disguised as a superhero is flying through the sky. People are cheering for, from him. For, I won't say for him, for them. And then the scene cuts back to the villain. Uh, basically at the... The villain's at the, um, the bank trying to go and help clean up and he's getting held up. They're going back to the bank trying to help clean up and they're getting held by gunpoint. Or, or, they, or they come to the bank to help, they come in, uh, this is the scene that's playing out in my head. You got the superhero, and they're coming in. <laughs> I kind of used correct terminology. So the villain is flying through the sky, and everybody is cheer cheering for them, because obviously they're like a superhero. But then the villain, let's say the superhero just like went into, like broke through, broke into the back of a bank, or went into the bank, do like a super super villain way. I don't know. They like crashed through the floor, and they took money and they left. 
Uh, and the villain, no the superhero knows that the villain did this. The superhero basically enters, do that same, that same uh, chamber to kind of get an idea of how they got in there, to have a better idea of what their powers are. And so the villain's like, okay, they have super strength. And they break in, and obviously this is like horribly written. I won't write this movie. But the supervillain breaks in, comes in through this hole, and the cops open up and they see the supervillain there, even though there's no money around. But they start aiming at the supervillain and they start firing. So this is what you're seeing. You're seeing the supervillain flying through the sky, money basically dropping from their pockets because they just stole it from the bank. And then you have the supervillain who basically found out how they got into the bank, that they got, they end up getting... Uh, the superhero ends up finding out how the villain got into the bank and it's found by the cops. I don't know if that made any sense to anybody who watches this video, but that's what's in my brain right now. And I'm trying to figure out how to play that that scene. You know what? Okay, I think you do a reference real quick. So I'm going to do that. I don't know. I don't watch, I'll be honest. I don't watch superhero movies like that. I actually don't. I'm not a fan of them. And so I don't really know any villain themes. So I need to listen to some so I kind of know what I'm juxtaposing this uh, idea against. So let's do... Uh, what's a superhero villain? Green Goblin. Okay, I know I'm old. You don't even know. Green Goblin theme. Yeah, maybe I could look up... Ah, darn it. Internet is... Internet's not gone, but I haven't been using it. So it's kind of I have to use my phone as my router because the internet, the internet in Vietnam is not bad. I just want to say that first and foremost. The internet where I live in Vietnam is bad, and it wasn't always like this. It just progressively got worse over time to the point where if I don't have my phone, like I can't, I'm basically incapacitated. Okay, so I'm listening to Green Goblin's theme. See if I hear something I can pull. Alright, let's see Dr. Octopus theme. Different themes. I don't want. I don't want. I don't want these people's covers. I need y'all to go away. I'm sorry. <laughs> I annoys me. I know what I want to hear. I want to hear Loki's theme. I want to hear other people's take on Loki's theme or rearrange it. But all I see is Samuel Kim. Uh. Oh come on! I want to hear Loki's theme. Oh, I gotta hear it from the vid the show. What am I gonna do? Uh, those are too mysterious. Those are just like, those themes didn't really work for me. It's kind of like, uh, what is it? Oh, screw it. It's kind of deep. That's all I got time for. But um, those themes kind of, those to me are like, uh, those, are, those, are, those feel like villain monologue themes. So they don't exactly fit <laughs> with what I'm looking for. But it gives me it gives me a, a little idea of what I could do, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ah. 
Now it seems to be comedic, so screw that. <laughs> Gonna be cheesy, but it just it doesn't. It just ugh. lowered words. I don't need to have a villain theme. It just needs to feel comedic. I was gonna sound like really cheesy. I'm sorry. It was the first thing that comes into my head. Heads up. No. Do 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 I, I, I gotta do this from this. Like I said, I'm not a fan of them. But I need to get something going, yeah? That. Why does it sound like that? Ah, ah this wasn't supposed to be here. This is supposed to be violin one. Really weird uh, idea, but that's what came to mind. Okay, I do want to on top of percussion here. Uh, another thing that I have a tendency to do is not label things. This is blank, right? Symbols. All right, so big drums. Uh, I want wood block, yeah. Ah, that's what the issue is with the cellos are way too. Oh, wait, where are you? I'm just driving from one to. There we go. Ah, move! I wonder if the auto save is good, but it irritates me sometimes. And 
it goes back to more uh, sightings of the guy, of the, not the guy, but the, uh, it goes back to the hero, the villain theme. Oh my goodness, what am I doing? Um, oh, hey. So that uh, I have my cello. Okay. And it needs to, uh, I to have a. <clears throat> Some toms would be really nice here. Then we do a roll one, two, yeah. Three.
it's a, it's a horn. It's a horn. I see some trumpets in this. Save time by doing the whole chord. No. Do I have time to maybe do a second? Oh, I have a minute. Poop! Yeah. How much time do I have? Oh, all right. I don't really have any time to do anything else. I really hate that this is repeated here, so I'm not going to count it because I repeated it and I didn't variate anything. Um, let me turn this off before it. Okay, so uh, I'm not going to count. I'm going to make this red. I'm not going to count it because I repeated it. I didn't get a chance to variate it or anything. So I got to 50 seconds. If I would have had, if I would have been able to get another B set villain section in there, um, I would have, I would have made my minute. So not bad, yeah. Um, but um, I'm going to play it from the beginning. I'm going to make this gray just so we can... Uh, Hear what I've done, and just to reiterate what the theme is, um, you are you are the superhero that looks like the vil that looks like a villain, and the villain looks like the superhero. And right now, um, you're hearing the villain theme juxtaposed with people's perception the villain's perception of the scenario i don't know if that makes sense but anyway here we go <laughs>
like I said, I don't count the last 10 seconds. So feedback on how I did. Um, I didn't have, a, I didn't take the opportunity to listen through it a couple of times. If I would have, I would have realized that my trumpeteer, the staccatos weren't activated. And so you didn't hear that crisp punchiness that I initially wanted. Uh, and there were also a couple of things happening in the strings I didn't like. I would have liked to have some ebbs and flows. Like, yeah, yeah. I didn't incorporate those in there. And that, honestly, that was kind of a hindsight thing where I, I wasn't really focusing too much on it. But if I would have played it, if I would have played through what I'd written a couple of times, I definitely would have, it definitely would have stuck out to me. The strings not, uh, fading and moving the way I want and the trumpet's not activating. So I just need to make sure whenever I'm doing this again to make sure I take time out to just listen through the composition so I can see how different instruments are triggered so I can change those so that the final product is all right. Um, so yeah, I didn't make a minute, but I made 50 seconds and I got one V section in for the superhero uh, confusion section. I guess if I, gave, if I had to give myself a grade, give myself, a, I don't know, like a C plus, B minus. And I rarely ever give myself an A. I don't think an A will ever happen. But I'd say C plus. I think style-wise, um, I hit it. I think style-wise, style -wise, it's, it's there for the most part. And the villain section, no, the superhero section, I think grew on me. I think the, the use of the wood block kind of helped a little bit. But yeah. All right. That's it for one to one scoring. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, and I'll have one of these videos out a month because, yeah, I'll just have one of these videos out a month. So that's that's it for uh, January. Till next time, see ya.